So Jenny Macklin got off the year off to a bad start, agreeing that she could live on $35 a day, the pittance to which she is now condemning an extra 80,000 single parents. It didn't help that her office apparently tried to erase the reference altogether by pretending it was inaudible and therefore didn't happen. But inevitably there was an outcry after the event, but most of it was aimed at the wrong people. The point is that Jenny Macklin probably could live on $35 a day for a little while in the right circumstances. But we're not talking about Jenny Macklin. We're talking about single parents. So for starters, we're talking about a child involved, at least one child as well, and one child who's only just eight years old. That puts an entirely different aspect on the problem. And also, of course, single parents do not have the kind of support network Jenny Macklin and her clan enjoy. Single parents are notoriously isolated in society. They don't have time to make friends. They don't have time to get the sort of help that they obviously need. They depend on the government handout. And when you think about it in those terms, $35 a day, once you take the gas bill, the electricity bill, the rent, the water rates, whatever else out of it, does not leave an awful lot for job hunting. Which is, of course, according to Jenny Macklin at least, the name of the game. It's meant to chivvy people back into the workforce. But even Jenny Macklin admits privately that the stick is too big for the job. The sad thing about all this is that Jenny Macklin and her colleague Bill Shorten have been the two loudest voices in Cabinet pushing for an increase, an increase of $50 a week. But it would seem they're not going to get it in the foreseeable future, even since the dumping of the mythical surplus. Wayne Swan, Penny Wong, the financial ministers are both holding back and Julia Gillard, for the moment at least, is siding with them. There may be a welcome surprise in the budget and it would be long overdue if it does come. But for the moment, Jenny Macklin's a victim of that old problem. Don't talk when you don't have an answer that everybody wants to hear. And if you think you're telling the truth, make sure it's a truth that everybody wants to hear too. I'm Mungo McCallum. One.